What's up, Snow Tracks Nation? Luke here, bringing you the first of a series of videos that I promised I was going to give you yesterday. We are at Skidoo's 2025 new model intro, and we've ridden the stuff, at least the first stuff that they've released to us. Uh, and I wanted to give you guys a quick overview video of what we've seen so far. And I think you guys are going to be amped about this because I know that I am. There's some really exciting stuff. The first and foremost is sitting right here beside me. And this is something that shouldn't really come as a surprise to anybody. This is a Backcountry XRS with the two-stroke turbo. And I think everybody kind of knew Skidoo was going to do that. Uh, it makes perfect sense. It's easy for them to do. And it really does make for an amazing sled. I've ridden this one, but I'm going to bring you more information on this sled a little later on. The second piece of big news is that there is a new front end for all XRS and X package models. It is called the RAS RX front end. It's basically inspired by the RS race sled, but it is not the race sled front end. It's, it's inspired by that. It's completely different geometry. There's a lot of changes here. I'm gonna go into more detail when I do the walk around on the sled itself. But what I can say is that it changes the handling of Skidoo snowmobiles in a very dramatic way. Along with the front end comes a new ski, and the new ski works in conjunction with the front end, so uh, they're a package deal. And then, of course, I said there's multiple things to talk about, multiple exciting things. The last one is something that just got me so excited, more so than it probably should have, and that is that this backcountry sitting in front of me right here has a 43 inch wide front end. It includes the new RAS RX front end. It is a full trail width front end. Uh, this is the crossover sled that we have wanted from Skidoo for a number of years and they've finally given it to us. Now don't worry if you're the kind of guy who wants the narrow front end backcountry model because they're still gonna make it. This is an option that you're gonna be able to choose uh, when you early season order the sled. So there's no difference. The sleds look the same. They don't have badging that indicates that there's a different front end. They just will have one will be wide, one will be narrow. Uh, and again, I'll go into a lot more detail about that when I do the actual walk around videos on each of the sleds that I'm gonna highlight. But for now, I wanted you guys to know what was new, what was exciting, and what you can expect to see more of. So make sure you keep the bell on so that you'll get the notifications as these videos keep rolling out this afternoon.